Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a unboxing video of a product that I received from um, The Real Real. And I have not opened it yet. We're going to open it on camera. So if you're interested to see what is in this box, just keep on watching. All right, so here is what the box looked like when it came to me. It was a little... A little damaged here but that is not the um, the sender's fault that is um, the shipping company because I've seen how they just throw things around and <sighs> a lot of times we receive packages that are full of dirt because our UPS guy goes on dirt roads before he comes to us so anyway, let's get this little puppy opened. i to get my scissors here. Try not to cut myself. Anyway. Oh, little box is hard to get into. Alrighty. So when I open it up, here is what it looks like on the inside and it has a little card here that says the real real and it says thank you and inside is a note about the real real company um, here's a authentication card um, I guess this is a, a, um, return label. If you don't like the product, um, talks about consigning with them and then my, um, actual receipt here. Alrighty. So, okay. So that is all what was in that envelope. about putting all that in there and then there's some tissue paper here and then here's the product and then there's some tissue paper here so that is how it was packaged and it is in a um a real real dust bag which is one of those really cheap gauzy type that makes me think of a dryer sheet. I mean, it's basically what that is made out of. And it does not have a any other dust bag with it. And this is what I got right here. And this is a um, clay in the epi leather in the green, which I think this is like a really pretty... Um, Spring green is what I call it. I don't think it had the name of the color of it, did it? No, it doesn't say that on here. If I can figure out what the name of it is, I'll put it across the screen here. So anyway, um, it does have the little key thing on it. And what I'm going to be using this for is, once again, a functional bag charm because it does open and I will be able to put various products in it as far as maybe some change, some dollars, whatever the case may be. And let me put my glasses on because I want to look at this and see the um, quality of it. Oh yeah, this looks really, really good. There is a little bit of um, some chipping on the um, zipper pull itself. The hook here looks really good. Um, the little button here that says Louis Vuitton, it's a little tarnished, but I will be able to clean that without any problems. And on the inside, there's no chipping there's no stains um, this piece is made in France and 
what else can I tell you about it? There's, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a musty odor. I mean, it is a pre-loved item. It's not brand new. I forgot to say that at the very beginning, didn't I? Just trying to see where the little, um, date code was at on this. I'm not for sure. I'm not for sure. Anyway, I will put across the screen, the screen, the screen once again, um, the year that this was from. I don't remember. I actually have had this for a little while, but I just haven't been able to film the video. There's just been so much going on here lately and I've gotten a little bit behind so I don't see I don't see um, the date code on it but anyway this is what it looks like and I brought out the um, a bin that I have that um, I just got for Christmas just to kind of show you the comparison um, this one is definitely has um, the more of Oh, straight corners, I guess, where this is more rounded. These are more square. That's the word I was looking for, square. Um, Size-wise, it looks like, hmm, I don't know. I think this green one's a little bit bigger, but it's flatter. This one has more, um, more depth, I guess, to it. See how much it opens up there? Where this one doesn't open up that much. Yeah, it's just kind of small there. But that's okay because I wasn't planning on putting on a, a whole lot of things in there to begin with. That zipper is very rough. I need to put a little bit of, um, I need to wax that. Take some wax paper and run it over your zipper and then make it really, really smooth. You can do that with any any item that you have that's a zipper that's getting kind of where it's a little hard to pull. So, but anyway, I think overall I'm very pleased with that. And, um, darn it, I didn't bring a purse. Hang on and I'll get a purse and I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, I went and grabbed my, my Neverfull in the um, Damier bin. So let's see what this little guy is going to look like. Oh, I always have a hard time with this too, figuring this out. There we go. Oh yeah. Let's go to, oops, let me turn this way. There we go. There we go. Isn't that green pretty on that brown? It's so pretty. But yeah, that is how I plan on wearing it as, like I said, as a functional back charm. Um, I love back charms. I am so into the back charms now, but I just think that is so pretty. And um, this piece here is actually from the men's line. This is not a ladies piece. And I'm also seeing a little bit of a stain right there. I don't know if it's a stain or if that is scratched. Does that, that looks like maybe there's some color missing right there. Anyway, so there we go. So that is the product that I ordered from the Rear Reel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.